In this video, I hit the water, finished out my PID tuning and did some range testing. But if you want to see how I designed and built this electric kayak, then check out my part one video. Hoping to do a little bit of PID tuning, um, kind of walk you guys through that, and then maybe do a little bit of range testing. I want to see if I can. I'm in Ballard right now. I want to see if I can make it to Fremont. Uh, maybe even make it to Lake Union. That would be like three miles. So round trip six miles. That would be fantastic. Um, we'll see how far I get. So, another thing I want to test today. I bought some uh, thermal paste, and I put that on the MOSFET heat so I want to see if it stays cooler. Last weekend I was hitting like 41C. Um, so ideally I want to be under 40C just for the sake of the battery. It's operating temperature. You know, it does best closer to 30C. Um, so I don't want to get it that hot inside the case. Um, but if I have to live with it, then it's, it's good enough. So the main thing I'm looking for with this PID tuning uh, is no overshoot, no oscillation. It's going to be completely damp, so raising your set point as fast as possible without inducing any sort of oscillations or overshoot from the uh, target RPMs. Okay. All right. shoot our set point. It reaches it pretty quickly. Alright, I'm going to try to start at close to 1400 RPMs. Have it ramp all the way down. Around like 1200 RPMs. Current. Alright, 40,000. Ready? Great, that worked. So, current spiked up. I guess that was the initial jump, though. Okay, current dropped off pretty steady. Honestly, the RPMs look pretty good, too. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this tuning. Honestly, I thought I was going to have to mess with quite a bit. Um, but it's definitely good enough for. What I want to do with it. So I might just leave it. And move on. Let's take a look at the temperatures though. Uh, I would be close to 40. So I'm going to start my range test. Uh, another thing I'm going to do is collect data at some uh, different speeds. But I also want to get different speeds when we paddle and see how much the current drawing from. If I was paddling, paddle assist. My range of how much further can I get? Now at 20% duty cycle, I'm going to take some data of the paddling as well. So I can just get some captures of reduced current draw. like half an amp when I'm paddling I'm curious if that it's more consistent at the higher speeds. Make some more data at 30% duty cycle paddling. Let's see how much we drop. Okay. 
Yeah, again, about half an amp. Maybe a little less.
video, you want to stay updated on my progress, uh, there's lots of different ways you can support me. First off, you can like and subscribe. Second, uh, check out my Tindy store. And lastly, check out my personal blog. I'll have a lot more technical details on the blog of the build process, and I post a lot of educational content there. We are passing under the Aurora Bridge. We officially made it to Lake Union. Crazy Gasworks Bar, Fremont, the houseboats, around the corner, up to the right, and it's downtown Seattle. And I've still probably got at least two hours of run time left. So I literally could probably cruise around the lake. And, um, super stoked about that. Uh, my range is four times bigger and twice as, twice as big as I thought it was going to be, um, which is great. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, the GoPro dies. You guys have to get it uh, if I ever get home. on a big wave it splashed all over my computer I think it hit the phase wires the motor started making super weird noises so I'm gonna try to dry everything off and turn it back on and let's let's hope it comes back on because I'm probably like a mile away uh, so here goes nothing test it all out Plugged everything back in, dried it off, and the motor's still making weird noises. Uh, so it looks like I am paddling back for the next mile. It really sucks, but hopefully nothing's permanently broken. Maybe there's some seaweed just caught in there, but I mean, it literally started happening as soon as I got splashed by water. I'm gonna start paddling and do a checkout when we get home, I guess. All right. I've Paddled like half a mile and found uh, another access point. Um, there was a bunch of like seaweed and bushes, like stray leaves and stuff in the motor. Uh, I think that's why it wasn't working, not the actual water. So I cleaned all that out and I've got it running again. It seems fine. I'm super glad I don't have to paddle the rest of the way. I mean, I'm trying to get sunburned. I'm out here for way longer than I thought I was going to be. Uh, so I'm just looking forward to getting back home. All right, I have been out here for three hours now. I've probably gone seven miles. By the time I'm in, by the time I finish, I'll probably have gone like eight miles. Um, I almost got stranded, my motor cut out. I had to take out a bunch of seaweed from the props, uh, but luckily we're running again. And I only had to paddle for like, half mile or mile um, yeah I'm on my way home should have brought sunscreen overall though uh, I'd say successful day successful test um, happy with the results nothing broke nothing overheated too bad um, got some good data so get ready for the 
next phase of this project. Overall, I'm super happy with how the testing went. Uh, I learned a ton throughout the whole process. Number one, the kayak doesn't sear straight at all. So I'm gonna have to try to look into stabilizing the fin or adding a servo so that I can do some like heading control. Uh, number two, I expected my range to be like two hours, but it turns out it's like four hours. So I've got like a 16 mile range. I think I actually undersized my battery a little bit as far as voltage goes. So I can bump that up to like 44 volts and I think I should get even more speed with a little less range so I can play with that a bit. Number three, seaweed gets caught in the motor. So I'm gonna have to design a prop duct or design some way that prevents seaweed from getting stuck in there. I've got big plans for this kayak. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated along the way. The next phase of the project is to get my computer out of the loop and have a Raspberry Pi commanding the speed controller, building up the OR hardware and all the final hardware. So stay tuned.